Hello everybody, this is Jason Fiorenza. For the ones who um, may not know me on my Facebook page. Um, for a while I felt inspired to, um, to make some videos um, on different topics that the that I, I feel like the Lord has um, um, put in my heart. Things I've wrote down in the past and um, things that um, I feel like he's speaking to me now. Um, you know, I've, I've never really done this before, so this is kind of my first time. So if it's a little rough, just look over it. It's time maybe to get a little better. <laughs> but, um, you know, something that's been on my heart for the, for the last week is, um, you know, family. You know, we're, we're getting ready to come up on, um, Thanksgiving and, and Christmas and these holidays to come and, you know, we have our family members that we really enjoy seeing, and then we have our family members that we like, Ugh. I'll go, but, you know, I know Bob or Martha's going to be there, but, um, you know, something that um, has really um, pricked us or, or put us in a spot sometimes we, we don't even want to be around some of our family. And uh, should it be that way? No. You know, we... Um, as people, we have to look over things. We have to um, try to to deal with it and move on. But what what's God have to say about it? You know, what's what's something that we can um, look at that God can um, really help us with um, issues that we have with our families? And you know, when I was growing up, you know, my dad's side, most of them were um, pretty up in age. So, you know, I never had a chance to really know um, them all that well. But, you know, on mom's side, all my aunts, and um, they, um, they've, only but my one aunt, she has passed a few years back. And I have a, um, one uncle on mom's side. So, um, my grandma really inputted and installed in the family, you know, and, and really stressed that we love each other until today they still call and check on each other every day sometimes multiple times and you feel that love and that compassion when you speak to each one of them because that's the way they grew up it was implanted in them and it had it started through my grandma she she had such a great and humble spirit that um it's just really unexplainable how God's love can just flow through a family. And I, I have been really blessed to um, that God has really blessed me and, and, and our family members that we still show each other's love. But there, you know, in a lot of families today, it's hard to see that because it's just maybe one parent's working the other parents not wor um both parents are working and um, there's just no communication time you know there's no time to really even show the love and compassion and um and then when we do have time a lot of times we're so stressed on getting this and that done that we don't um have um time to do this or do that or teach our kids um the way we wish we could have but um you know i wanted to um read some scripture on what god has to say about it though i speak with tongues of men and angels but i have not love i have become a sounding brass or a clanging symbol through i the gifts of the prophecy and understanding and all mysteries, all knowledge. And though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains, but I have not love, I am nothing. Though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, though I give my body to be burned and to have and have no love, it profits me nothing. And, um, you know, I really want to stress to everybody over the next 
two to three months over the next holidays. You know, um, we can have everything in the world that we, we have, that we need, that God has bestowed upon us. You know, our jobs, our families, our possessions, um, the gifts that God can give us. But if we don't have love for each other, we have nothing. So, I want to stress that across um, for the next, well, it should be every day. But you know, as the seasons come and go, you know, this shouldn't change in our life. But especially in the next couple months, it's it's really focused. Because you know, we got a lot going on right now with the election and, and this and that that's going on. You know, everybody is flip-minded as you could say they're got a lot in their mind a lot going on you know and you know with all this COVID stuff that's been happening and and you know all these things it's it's been a crazy year but you know it says in um in the word in Matthew 5 9 it says blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the sons of God you know things that we pay we face in our life um, we got to ask God to help us be peacemakers with all the chaos that we see around and that's going on right now um, we need peace we need God's peace to take our lives and to form us and I want to stress that to everyone today today is um, Friday the 2nd of October and um, if we could stress to be a peacemaker to, to love each other because we can have all things we can have all the great wonderful gifts God could bless us with but if we don't have love for each other we have nothing aren't you know I'm reading the new King James version it says love I think the new international version of NIV says charity but you know um, Love or charity, we got to have. And if people's wondering right now where I'm sitting, I'm actually um, took my oldest boy, Matthew, to the doctor today, and I'm sitting in the parking garage. And I thought it would be the best time to make this video. There's, other than people moving around behind me, I mean, there's really not a whole lot of noise. So, um, I want to inspire everybody. You know, I'm going to be making some more videos. Just comment. Um, you know, leave a comment or a message to me and let me know what you thought about it. But, um, you know, we, we love each and every one of you. Um, if you could share this, that'd be great because I'd like to get the word out, you know, to have love and compassion toward each other, you know. You know, I titled this Family, Blessed is the Peacemaker. And, um, you know, I love each and every one of you. And, um, uh, hope you all have a blessed day. And, um, Many blessings I speak over each and one of each and every one of you, and um, hopefully I'll I'll make another video soon. But like, again, if you could comment and um, let me know what you thought, I appreciate it. Hope you all have a blessed day. Bye.